Bill and Marilyn, this is a good uh, question for you. We're just on the verge, you know, of doing away with uh, guinea worm disease in the whole world. We started out with three and a half million cases in 23,600 villages. We've been in every village in the world that had guinea worm, and we've cut those three and a half million down to about 500. And now we're focusing on those last remaining villages to do away with this. In the process, so what we've done, tried to do is to uh, reach out to other diseases as well. Uh, and we've utilized very simple techniques to correct the serious problems that exist in the poorest countries on earth, but no longer in the rich nations. For instance, uh, a, a simple filter cloth that you could pull water through, kind of like a table napkin, uh, is the main instrument that we have used to do away with guinea worm. And there's a new development too that deals with, ma with malaria and elephantiasis that gets rid of mosquitoes. It's just a, a net, like a mosquito net that you would use if you go camping in the woods, but when the mosquito lands on a net, it has poison in it and it kills a mosquito. And these nets will stay active for about five years. This is a very uh, inexpensive net, it costs about $5 a piece, but it has dramatically reduced the incidence of malaria, which is one of the major killers of people in the, in the poorest nation. So these kind of simple techniques and bringing the people themselves in the villages into the process to do their own work is what has made it successful for us and can be very uh, helpful in the future in doing away with these diseases that have already been proven in the rich world that we can do away with them. And now we need to concentrate on doing that among the poorest countries uh, on earth.